I'm Max Jacobson, and I'm with Carrie Wu, the owner of Ping Pang Bong Restaurant and the Gold Coast Casino in Las Vegas. We've got a table full of dim sum, sweet and savory snacks eaten with tea. Before we describe some of the other dim sum that we described in part one, I want to talk to you a little about tea. Now, most of us get jasmine tea, which I personally do not like when we go to a tea house. And the reason that is, is because for one thing it's very popular, for another it's pretty inexpensive. But high quality jasmine tea that you get in Hong Kong is a completely different animal. I love it, it's wonderful. It's very hard to get in this country. So when I go to a dim sum house, I prefer to get bole in Cantonese or pu er. It's an earthy, woodsy, Chinese tea. And if you ask for it as red tea in the dim sum parlor, you will be understood. Otherwise, if you don't say red tea or the Chinese name, you're gonna get jasmine. Now, the chef today has prepared one, two, three, four, five special bamboo baskets of different kinds of dim sum that are very rare and hard to find. And Carrie is gonna tell us about them. So Carrie, let's start here. What's this? This is, uh, in English name is treasury bag. Uh, in Chinese it's called long wong doi. Uh, it has like a treasury bag inside with lobsters and vegetables. I think it's Feeling. kind of funny because in English you use the opposite. You call it a beggar's purse. <laughs> so in a, a beggar's chicken is something in Chinese. Yes. Uh, I forget. How do you say that in Chinese? The beggar's chicken? Hat yi gai. Yeah, hat yi gai where you wrap it up in clay. Yeah. But this is a treasury bag. Now what about that one? It's called Phong Kun Gao. Uh, it looks like a rooster's, rooster's head. Yep. And it has uh, corn and uh, shrimp and scallop in there. Corn? You said corn? Yeah. I'm going to try to reach over and hold one of those up. This is it. Oh, it's okay. I got it. And now let's go to the middle here. What do this we have here? Siu Mai. And this is a special siu mai. We put a piece of scallop on top. And those uh, orange thing is the crab roll crab with roll. Uh, cilantro. Now most of us know shu mai or siu mai in Cantonese as a pork dumpling with fatty pork. Uh, but pork with shrimp. But we do this one. We do it with just shrimp and scallop. It's and all seafood. And now we have a very artistic looking one because how, first of all, it's a little sticky. Help me. Okay, this, what's this? This is called spinach chicken dumpling. The color is a natural spinach juice color and with uh, chicken and spinach inside. And these again, these are not on the menu. And then lastly we have... It's called Chiu Jiao Fan Guo. Uh, it's also filled with shrimp. It's, uh, it's from a province of uh, uh, Chiu Jiao southern part of Chiu China. Chiu yeah. Chiu and then what, would you put a sauce on this or would you eat this plain? It's personal preference. Right, I, I like little, little chili face, chili, yeah. the chili sauce usually. That's great. Now, we're going to go to some more familiar dim sum that are on the table. Uh, this is basically a barbecued pork pastry. They're great. They're a little bit sweet. They have a little bit of uh, seeds on the top. Uh, sesame, sesame, black sesame, sesame Black seeds. sesame. Very flaky. Inside. This is one of the items I find. Uh, American friend loves it. Our Chinese friend loves it. Now this is a real crossover dim sum. And then, this is something I haven't seen before. This is a vegetarian. It's going to fall apart, I think, isn't it? Very colorful. Yeah. It's a vegetarian tofu. We pick a tofu in a circle, and then we 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 stuff the tofu with green bean, corn, mushrooms, and carrots. Now, would a Chinese sauce. put the whole thing in his mouth? Yes. Okay. You can. Uh, uh, <laughs> my mouth? I can. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Dim sum could be very creative. You can you can do with different fillings mm -hmm. if you want. Now those are the shrimp dumplings. This I'm not going to eat them because this is a classic. Most of most of the viewers are probably yeah, every dim sum before. place 
And over there this. we have the pork spare ribs. Yeah, baby pork spare ribs with uh, black, black beans, beans and chili. See up by what? See up by what? Did I get the tone right? Yes. Almost. <laughs> and this is uh, mm, very good. The taste of the black bean really overwhelms the pork. You have to like fermented black soybeans. And actually, we have a dessert item here. Little heart shaped. Uh, now, what's this? Like a mochi, but inside. Black the sesame dessert. again. No, it's red beans. Red beans. So, what's the Chinese name for this? Uh, Hong Dao. Just pork. red uh -huh. bean. Hong Dao. Red bean cake. I they like it. I like it, but. I love black sesame. I'm a black sesame guy. Couldn't you make one of these and yeah, of put course. black sesame? Then what would you call it? Chima. Yeah. yeah. Hachima. Yeah, Hachima. That's what I like. And now over there, there's a cart. Um, it's coming. Maybe they could bring it by with all kinds of specialty meats on it. Yeah. And finally, we have this lady with a specialties cart. These items generally cost a little more. This is. Uh, a turnip cake with a little pork that's pan-fried called lo bakpo. This is a little bit of deep-fried tofu. What's 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 more uh, special about this? Is this just tofu. deep? It's a vegetarian dish, but very extremely tasty. Uh, we can use... I taste one? Of course. Can I use my fingers? Yes, you can. See how nice she is. You cannot put it back to the car. This is no. ours now. <laughs> and finally, we have some. Fried shrimp with chili. Fried shrimp, as John Huston famously said in the movie Chinatown, with the head still on. <laughs> so I'm going to eat one. Remember what Jack Nicholson said? He said, as long as you don't serve the chicken that way. <laughs> yeah, but the Chinese do. Crispy, you can eat the whole thing. Mm. These I like. These lucky camera boys are going to have to finish this off because there's too much food here. Anyway, we want to thank Carrie Wu and the thank Ping Pang Pong restaurant for giving us a little visual and delicious demonstration about Chinese dim sum, what it is, how to enjoy it, and what kind of tea to drink with it. Yeah. See you next time. Thank you.